Hello and welcome to Home with Sarah Jane. In today's video, I am sharing a flip through of the health curriculum that I chose for my ninth grader. If you are new here, hello and welcome. My name is Sarah and I'm a homeschooling mom to two girls ages 11 and 15. And if you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for stopping by once again. I do really appreciate you. So I hope I am not picking up a lot of the rain <laughs> with my microphone. Um, we, we are going through a little bit of a storm over here where I'm at. So I'm sorry if you can hear the rain in the background, but I don't think it's going to let up anytime soon. And I really wanted to share this flip through um, just in case anybody else found this information, you know, helpful. So today I am sharing a quick flip through of the health curriculum that I chose for my ninth grader. Now this is a one semester course uh, by Starline Press and we have never used Starline Press before in like the 10 years that I've been homeschooling. I just recently found out about them. So this is a completely new curriculum to us and we only started this health course at the beginning of second semester. So we're only a few weeks in so we have not completed this course yet, but I still wanted to share a flip through again, just in case it is helpful to anybody else out there. And I wanted to do this flip through before my daughter like started writing all over the unit booklets. So here is the list of other courses that Starline Press has to offer. I am not affiliated with them. Again, I just recently found out about them a couple of months ago um, and I've never used any of these other courses, but it looks like they have a lot to offer. So they offer a lot of different curriculum options for grades three through 12. And then, you know, a lot of those courses and subjects are like, you know, a lot of the core stuff like math, language, art, science, history, you know, stuff like that. But then I also noticed they had like a pretty wide range of electives for high schoolers. And I was really happy to see that they had things like automotive technology, home ec, personal finance. This health course <laughs> was under their electives um, courses. So if we end up liking Starline, I'll definitely look into possibly using some more of the electives for my high schooler next year. But I still feel like it's a little early to make that call, you know, <laughs> so this is still pretty new to us. So here's everything that came with the health set that I purchased. Now it came with five unit booklets and it also came with the health score key, which I'm, it's like a fancy way of saying answer key, I guess. <laughs> well, they call it the health score key, but I did purchase this complete set at Rainbow Resource. So I don't have much experience um, or knowledge when it comes to Starline Press as an actual company. I didn't even use their website or anything like that because again, I purchased it on Rainbow Resource. So the link that I am sharing with you, if you are interested in looking into this curriculum, it is going to be through Rainbow Resource. So just keep that in mind. But if you're interested in other courses by Starline Press that um, you would like to kind of like peek inside of, Rainbow Resource does have some sample pages on some of their other um, courses. So that would be a good place to start if, you know, you were looking for something other than health. Now, they do have um, like scope and sequences, which I love, available so that you can see kind of like everything, <laughs> like an overview of everything that's going to be in a unit. So this is the one for their health course. So each of the five unit booklets covers a different topic pertaining to health. And at first, I wasn't thinking I was going to be a big fan of having five different booklets that my student was going to be working through. You know, I thought Bella was going to think it was too workbookish and it kind of kind of worried me at first. But then we started kind of going through unit one and I realized really quickly that I actually like that they separated the different health topics into different units because it made it really easy for me to try and manage when Bella would be covering the more serious topics when it comes to taking this health course. So having those um, units like broken up into different topics, just it made it so much easier for me to sit in and be present with her when she completes the more sensitive topics, even though we haven't really hit any of those yet. But I could already see how I'm going to like this formatting but specifically for like the health course, if that makes sense. So I did like that they split their topics up between different booklets. Now, 
Unit 101 will cover nutrition. Unit 102 covers foundations. So that's going to be like making healthy choices, avoiding bad habits, managing stress. Unit 103 goes over emotions, loss, grief. And as you can see um, that I have up on the screen, it also covers some more sensitive topics throughout Unit 103. And then Unit 104 goes over personality and mental disorders. And then the last unit, Unit 105, goes over disease prevention and health issues. So as you can see, this course does go over a lot, and many of these um, subjects and topics are pretty sensitive. So although my daughter can complete this course on her own, it is meant to be done independently by a student. Um, my husband and I decided that this is actually a course that I'm going to be sitting down in and doing with her. So uh, her and I will sit side by side and complete this health course because I want to just make sure that I am there for any questions, anything like that um, when it comes to those more sensitive topics. But again, that's just our personal preference. If you want something independent, this can definitely work for that because it is written to the, to the student. So now let's look inside the units. I'm going to show you kind of how the lessons are set up using Unit 101. And then I'm just going to do a quick flip through of the other units because they are pretty much set up the same. So each unit starts off with a table of contents and shows the different chapters and sections that are going to be completed without, uh, throughout the unit. Now, each unit does have a different amount of chapters and sections. So keep that in mind. But it usually ranges from three to four chapters per unit with three to five sections per chapter. And each unit booklet should take around three weeks to complete. So there's five booklets in this course. So this should take 15 weeks to complete, if that makes sense. So after the table of contents, there is the unit objectives. Um, and this section just kind of shares a little bit more of what the student is gonna be learning about. And then there are some like vocabulary words, Sometimes it's just one. Sometimes there's like a few vocabulary words. It's a little different throughout each unit, but it does have some vocabulary in here. And then um, there's also a short introduction after um, the vocabulary words. So right after the short introduction, it just goes straight into the lessons. So the basic setup of a lesson is just reading the section text for that day, which is only a few pages long. And then they answer the section questions. There's a worksheet right after their reading that they would complete to go with what they just read. So it is very simple, straight to the point lessons, all the questions, worksheets, anything that the student will need is inside their unit booklet. So it's very easy to locate everything. And after your child reads through all of the sections and chapters, um, or all of the sections in a chapter, there is a chapter review. So there is opportunity to kind of refresh their memory and kind of almost like take a little, you know, quiz or review after each chapter. So I did like that. And then as they move on and they complete all of the chapters and sections throughout the unit booklet, that at the very end, there is a unit review and a unit one test. So there is that, again, opportunity for like review for like a little bit of a quiz and then they do test at the end of the unit. But that's pretty much how every unit is set up. I mean, it is really straightforward. Forward. This is like a no bells and whistles, bells and whistles type of course, you guys. Um, so it is pretty much just open and go. <laughs> you know, you just read the information, answer the questions each day, and then you just kind of work through one booklet over a three week uh, time period. So it is very, very simple. Now, I was a little worried about how my daughter would like this course because we're not really a worksheet or workbook type of family. And this is a workbook, guys. It is just a workbook that they complete. Um, but I was, I'm happy to report um, after completing the first unit, my daughter is actually enjoying this course. She does really enjoy the simplicity of it. Um, you can definitely see that it is short lessons. Um, it usually takes my daughter about 15 20, maybe 25 minutes to complete a lesson each day. 
but you can beef this up if you want to. I mean, there are, there are options. I mean, as a homeschooler, you could beef up anything really, you know? So you could just add readers if you want to to this. But we decided not to beef this one up because um, it is still a good amount of information. And I have been covering health and nutrition and all of that throughout the 10 years that I have been homeschooling Bella. So I used to add in like morning baskets about health or unit studies about health um, almost every single year that I've homeschooled her. So I feel like this is enough for her. Again, you're going to want to make that decision based off of how you feel about this. But again, you can just add readers and things like that if you wanted to. Now, um, so far, like I was saying, we have been happy with this. But I think we're happy with it because I feel like it just checks off that box. You know, um, we are required in our state to have our student or our children complete one semester of health in order to graduate. And this course does that for us. And it does it in a really simple way. Now, <laughs> let's kind of talk about um, the question I know I'm going to be asked. And that is, is this secular or is this, you know, religious or, religious or faith based? And so far, from the one unit that we have completed, we haven't come across anything religious. And when you look on Rainbow Resources um, website, they list this curriculum as a neutral curriculum on their website. So, I mean, I have heard some people say that they feel like it does lean a little bit more towards Christianity, but we haven't experienced that yet. Um, again, we're not very far into this and we've never used any of their other um, courses, but as of right now, you know, in the middle of 102, unit you know, 102, we haven't experienced any religious content in here. Now, when it comes to the more sensitive topics, we haven't really reached any yet, but I did kind of skim through um, just to kind of see and peek at it myself to see what was going on in there. And I didn't really notice anything that looked alarming or concerning. But again, I don't really feel like I'll get a good um, understanding of, ev of everything until we actually work our way through the course completely. So I will share a review at the end of the year. But um, I did want to mention really quickly that the only unit that is set up slightly different than the other units is Unit 105. And the only way that it's different is that instead of just doing like a reading and a worksheet, a reading and a worksheet, which it does have that in there, but it also has an area where your student is or your child is going to be doing research on a specific disease. So they'll be researching um, whatever disease that they choose, and then they will be writing a paper about that. Now, what's nice about it is that Starline Press did add like a little rubric to help guide the student in writing this um, research paper. And also you would use that same rubric to help you grade that writing. So that's also included in there. But now let's take a look at the answer key or, you know, the score key, I think is what they call it. Now in here, what I liked about this one is that all of the answers to all of the worksheets, all of the unit reviews and all of the tests are all in this one booklet um, so that you don't have to have as the teacher, you don't have to have a whole bunch of different booklets, you know, it's all in one. So that's really nice. They do section it off. So, you know, you know what work um, for what unit is where. And then at the very back of this answer key or score key, there is the the test answer key. So all of the tests are located at the back of the answer key, um, or at least the answer key to the test, I should say, are located at the back of the booklet. But that is everything that I wanted to share with you today. I hope that this flip through helps. If you like these videos, please give it a thumbs up. I will probably be sharing um, quite a few more flip throughs in the near future because I am in the middle of shopping for curriculum for next year. So if you like this kind of content, stick around. Now, if you have any questions for me about this flip through or anything about this curriculum, I will do my best to answer those. You could just leave those questions down in the comment section. And also let me know, have you used Starline Press before? What did you think about them? Did you like them? Was it not your style? Um, how did you feel about it? I'd love to hear it. As always, thank you so much for stopping by. You have a great day. Bye.